Hi, this is Peg from Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I want to thank you for choosing my channel to learn how to clean your jelly plate, and just to thank you for stopping by, and I hope that you will find my content of value to you. I have engaged in this junk journaling or have fallen down the junk journal rabbit hole and there are a lot of things that I have purchased one of those being a jelly plate to create the backgrounds for my journals for creating backgrounds and art journaling and I have found as I have used them they have become you know gummed up with dried paint so I have taken a roll of packing tape and I am cutting it into strips the width of my jelly plate and adhering it down one after the other covering the entire surface pushing it down with my hands to make sure that it is adhering to the edges and um, the entire top surface once I am sure that that is secure I'm just going to pull that tape off and with that tape comes the dry paint this creates beautiful skins on this packing tape that now is no longer sticky. So I think it is going to find a use in subsequent art journals, subsequent junk journals. I haven't used it as yet, but I'm sure I'll find some place to put it and something to use it for, maybe on a pocket, who knows. But in any event, I did find that this did a great job of cleaning all of that dry paint off of my jelly plate without damaging my jelly plate at all. So I hope that it works for you. It worked great for me. And I would also like to share with you in the comments below or in that, you know, the content section below on this video, a couple of other things that I think would be useful to you. So I have produced a video that shares how to create your own Mod Podge, your own texture paste, and your own gesso. Those are supplies that I find myself using frequently. So kind of in the same line of this, you know, taking care of your supplies, I'm going to link how to make your own. Again, thank you for joining me. Please subscribe. Click that bell if you want to 